hello viewers welcome to my another tutorial in this video i will show you how you can install ubuntu or linux on your existing windows or mac operating system for that we have to use a virtual machine software that will create another virtual computer on top of your existing operating system so you can see that i am using windows 10 pro and I'm going to install Ubuntu on top of my Windows 10. For that, you have to download a virtual machine software. There are many virtual machine software you will find in the internet, but I will recommend you to use VirtualBox by Oracle because I think that's the best virtual machine software available out there. So, first, download the virtual machine software so this is the download page for oracle virtual box download the virtual box according to your platform if you are a windows user please download using this link if you are a Mac OS user, download using this link. As I am a Windows 10 user, I am downloading from this link. The software is about 117 megabyte. Except the downloading and installation process of VirtualBox, all the other procedure is same to same both for Windows and Mac OS so no need to worry just follow the video instruction so the download has completed now install the virtual box we just keep pressing next click install it should not take more than a minutes so the installation is completed click on finished the virtual machine box has started now you have to download the operating system close the virtual machine for now close this page go to the download page of ubuntu select this download Ubuntu for desktop so in the download page you will find there is a two version of Ubuntu one is Ubuntu 16.4.2 LTS the LTS means long term support and the other version is Ubuntu 17.04 the 17.04 is the latest version of Ubuntu but I will recommend you to download the LTS version because if you install the LTS version you will get 5 years of free security and maintenance updates but in the latest version of Ubuntu you will only get 9 months of security and maintenance update check the recommended system requirement for installing Ubuntu you have to have 2 GHz of dual core processor or better 2 GB of system memory 25 GB of free hard disk drive and internet access is helpful so if you have all the required system uh, click on download option this is actually donation page if you want to donate you can pay with paypal but if you don't want to donate and want to continue to download just click on take me to the download so this is the download page the download should start automatically if it doesn't click on this link so the download have started the file is about 1.4 gb luckily you don't have to go all this process all the link of the needed downloaded file is in the description of this video so just check the link in the description of this video i already have downloaded the ubuntu operating system after completing your download open the virtual box the VirtualBox is not ready yet. You have to install an operating system here. To install operating system, click on New. 
as we uh, as we want to install ubuntu operating system here give a name to your virtual machine in this box i am giving ubuntu we are installing 32 bit version of ubuntu if you are installing ubuntu 64 bit version select this i am selecting 32 bit version now click on next so this box is about how much ram you want to allocate for your ubuntu operating system it is recommending you to 1 gb of ram but as i am using 8 gb of ram in my computer so i am allocating 2 gigabyte of ram instead of 1 gb but at least 1 gb is recommended click on next you don't have to change it just click on create and you can also skip this process just leave as it is and click next then another next okay this box is showing you how much hard disk space you want to allocate for your ubuntu operating system it is recommending 10 gb if you want to give more you can so i am increasing the size of this to 20 gb okay now click create so your virtual pc is created now you have to install your operating system here the pc is turned off so turn this pc on this option is showing to uh, select and start up dx select the downloaded operating system by clicking here here is the operating system so i am selecting it okay now press start so it is installing and it will take some time if you don't find this option don't worry just click on device and then go to optical drives uh, this work as your CD drive or DVD drive and click on choose disk image and now select the operating system file here is the operating system file and select it now if it doesn't work restart your virtual box now it is working the ubuntu 16.04 windows has appeared and it is installing wow the look is very nice that's why i love ubuntu the good thing about ubuntu is you can try ubuntu without installing you can try if you want but i am showing you how you can install so to install the ubuntu simply select install ubuntu before preparing to install ubuntu uh, there is a few option if you want to download update while installing ubuntu you can select this and if you want to install third-party software uh, for example graphics wi-fi hardware you can select this uh, if you select these two option it will take more time to install showing you a quick tutorial i am not selecting these two option i am just continuing now this windows saying this computer currently has no detected operating system what would you like to do don't need to worry because it will not erase anything from your original pc it will only erase from your virtual pc so click on install now click continue so the main installation process has begun now i am selecting my location and select the keyboard layout you want from here i am selecting english us and the layout is english us as well uh, now press continue write your name here choose a password now click on continue so the ubuntu is installing 
wait a while until the installation is complete. The fun fact is, if you minimize, the installation is about to finish. Now it's configuring the hardware. So now it's downloading language packs. So finally the installation is completed. You don't need to worry because it will only restart your virtual PC. So click on restart now. It is asking you to remove the installation medium. That means uh, at the beginning of the installation you have selected the ISO file of the Ubuntu to install. It is still now it is mounted in the optical driver. So now you have to remove it from the optical driver. The ISO file is already removed. So let's press enter. So finally the virtual box is ready your Ubuntu operating system is also ready uh, give your password now you are watching that your Ubuntu desktop is ready and it is working well let's open Firefox so everything is okay the fun fact is that you can simultaneously use your Ubuntu and Windows 10. You can minimize it. So here is your Ubuntu, here is your Windows 10. You can run Office program in your this side and you can run Ubuntu in this side. Now you can, you can have the fun of this two PC. You can resize your desktop size from this setting. If you want to full screen your virtual box, uh, press right control and F and it will ask you for permission and click switch and now we were in full screen mode of virtual box if you want to get back to normal screen uh, again press right control and F and you are now in the normal mode from now every time you have to run your Ubuntu uh, just open the virtual box and you will find your Ubuntu is powered off click here to start and it is starting Thank you very much for watching, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.